always feel like I learned something when I talk to Laura and Kate Malevi from Rodace. Their reference points are like nobody else's in fashion. So much in the clothing, and there's such a great story attached to the clothes. Last time it was horror, Japanese horror movies, and this time it's really like nature mixing with CP3O from Star Wars and the insides of him. We have a futuristic kind of chignon, and we had in gold leaves and silver leaves in the back of the head. And it goes on it like a butterfly. Everything's kind of got this weird skeletal feel to it. Exoskeleton. Yes, definitely exoskeleton. Yeah. We based them off like x-rays where you see broken bones. So and there's metal little parts. metal parts. Or like a cranium where there would be a metal cap in the Like skull. when people get things stuck in them after operation. Yeah. It is very, very beautiful, and it's very ethereal, but it has a very, very dark, violent subtext. And I think tonight's show, this might be letting the cat out of the bag, but I think tonight's show is actually inspired by um, Star Wars. I love this setup in here. This is so very unique in regards to the seating arrangement. And look what they've done to the wall of the Gagosian Gallery, punched a huge big hole in it. I think it's fantastic. I think what's fascinating about Laura and Kate is the sort of dreamlike quality in what they do. It's a kind of nightmare fantasy. They seem very ethereal, kind of whimsical, most romantic in a way. Don't you love what Radaje does with inspiration from films? I mean, they're the most cinematic designers. They really are. They really, um, they're just such smart women and they really put so much thought into their, their stuff. Kind of like Narnia, punk frog. There's a lot of open weave, there's a lot of texture, there's a lot of nudity because you've got to balance that heaviness. And the shoes were amazing. <laughs> what a wonderful touch. The shoes were based off of Star Wars, so we actually made them with electrical wires. Just like when you look in the inside of C3PO. One of the things that really makes them stand out is they have an exceptional way of putting colours together and uh, exploring colours. You have to have that contrast in your work to make something that people really relate to and that empathise with on an emotional level. You know, they have that dark side, the dark side of the woods that you have to pass through to go into the sunlight.